What's up everybody, my name's Kipto, and welcome to my studio. Also happens to be my bedroom. Oh yeah, sick dude. Today we're gonna mix it up a little bit and do something a little bit different. I wanna paint this badass rhino statue. Look how dope this looks. I was painting a mural at the Funnier Die headquarters and they had this there and I was like, yo, yo. That's so cool looking, I just wanna paint it. So I got one of my own and uh, we're gonna make something happen. You know, either we can make it go along with the rhino or we can just use it as like a blank canvas and like create something that way. I'm not even totally sure yet. Uh, we're just gonna kind of go with the flow. Uh, before we get started, I think we have to do some acetone to get this shiny stuff off and then put some primer on it, I think. Uh, I'm not even totally sure what I'm doing, so we'll figure it out. Let's do it. Now, if you guys have watched some of my other videos, you know that, you know, I like to paint rhinos. Got some new Urban Rhino stickers. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at he's getting naked. I had to finish the rhino acetone outside because that was getting pretty violent here. Uh, now let's go prime it up. All right, back in the studio is the rhino. Yeah. All painted and ready to rock for a sweet upgrade. Let's see what we can do with this bad boy. Some time has passed and I've been struggling with what to put on this rhino really to make it pop and give it kind of like some some meaning behind it and I finally came up with the perfect solution it's gonna be kind of like a duality thing one side versus the other I love that kind of play off of one and another good bad I'm excited so yeah let's find it out Pretty stoked about how this is coming out. There's one last little thing I gotta do. 
the uh, it's like three quarters of the way done, and then these hind legs are are what's left. So I'm gonna do like a exoskeleton, kind of like showing the the bones of the the back legs. I'm gonna put them in blue. I think it's gonna be. Good. So what is going on here? So basically, as you know, I did the head first. I just wanted the head to be the head of the rhino, make the head look as badass as possible. And then this is gonna morph into something else. And I saw this shape right here, this shape. I was like, that looks like a wolf's snout. Like literally, that, from the profile. And then this belly is almost like the mouth. I was like, this, is, this will work out perfectly. And then I had the idea to put this duality of life versus death, skull, fetus, life and death, and the fragility of this life being encapsulated by the wolf's mouth about to crunch it. And also, obviously with the blue and the orange contrasting each other, that gives it a kind of tension as well. I was having some trouble kind of come up with an idea of, of what would work compositionally in this rhino because there's so many bumps and shapes and I feel like this whole belly was a perfect situation to put these two elements in here because it just fits perfectly. And also if you look from the top, that wolf is still there. You still have that wolf shape with the mouth and two eyes right here and his fur kind of fades into the rhino skin. And uh, I really like how it came out. I think it's pretty dope. All right. Um, to be honest, this video was kind of challenging for me because I'm usually out there on the streets painting huge murals and now I'm in here in my tiny little room painting this tiny little rhino, but uh, it was really fun and I really like how it came out. I'm happy with my decisions. Um, maybe I do more of this kind of stuff in the future. Like I really like kind of pushing something in a new direction and kind of giving something a new spin on a boring old rhino. So let me know what you think about it and uh, thanks for watching. Getting all naked.